Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's Friday. Yeah. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going, teacher? I'm going great. Mr. Corvera, you're driving and your camera is on. Careful. Yes, teacher. I don't have time to turn off the camera. Give me a <laughs> second. Are you in danger of the police officers? <laughs> Careful. Yeah. My God. Be careful. I just imagine how difficult must be being on a video conference and driving. Yeah, it must be really difficult. So how I are you? How many meetings? <laughs> Sorry? I received so many, many meetings when I, when I driving. Really? In Atilio as well, driving home. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Be careful. Be careful. Yes. I don't imagine myself I doing that. <laughs> Be careful. My goodness. We will listen. Yeah. Be careful. Well, it's Friday. I hope. The week has ended smoothly. I hope you are able to have some rest this coming weekend. If not, well, try to handle the situation, try to handle work the best way possible because yeah, you also need to rest. You also need to recharge batteries, right? So, it's Friday. I'm very glad you are all here. Thanks for punctuality. Thanks for attending. And of course, we are about to start our session number five. Well, so it's Friday, so it's five sessions per week in five weeks. 25 sessions in all. All right. Uh, today is the 29th and tomorrow the 30th. And September is gone, as good as gone, <laughs> okay? Anyways, then we we'll start October and practically most of the course takes, I mean, yeah, takes place in October because we have four weeks in October, all right? Well, as, uh, as a tradition, as we are used to, these are the reminders for the class. So I hope you are already working on the platform exercises so that you don't forget the vocabulary, okay? And the structure is studied so far, okay? So you also have the sessions of one-on-one, -on -one, remember? And of course, the right way to behave and the reminders, the friendly reminders for the session, for the video conference session. Okay, so yesterday we were studying the comparison with us plus an adjective plus us again. So when something it's uh, I mean, when two things actually are at the same level, right? So as good as, as expensive as, as noisy as, right? So um, we are comparing two things, two places, two people, but both are at the same level, right? So at the same degree. And that's why we were using this comparative. Okay, before anything else, let's get the attendance. 
because otherwise I will forget. Here. We will start with, let's see, Abigail Elizabeth. I can't see her. Artilio driving. Present. Hey. Okay, Elizabeth Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Emerson Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hey, good evening. Fernando Jose. Good evening, teaching teacher. Hey, Sorry. Hey, good evening. Uh, right now I'm driving to my home, so as soon as I get home, I will connect to my laptop. Very good, very good. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, I thought that was a different uh user. <laughs> No, but it's the same one, right? Francisco Ernesto. Mr. Acuña, Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Teacher, present. Sorry, I, I can hear my name. Oh, really? Mm, don't worry it's okay okay thank you hazel 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 she's not here she hasn't connected yet juan antonio not yet julissa Okay, Carla Ivania. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, now we have Luis Javier. Present, Miss. Hi, good evening. And Luis Miguel. And Luis Miguel has already said present. Nice. Teacher, hey, I don't know if, if you already mentioned me. Uh, right now, not yet. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Okay, we are on the Luises. Okay, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Magdiel Esaú. Present, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good then evening. we have Manuel Alexander. Present, teacher. Hey, now you have a photo. My yes, Alejandra. I to my cell phone. From your cell phone, from your account, from the account of your cell phone. Uh -huh. That's why. And then we have Marilyn. Did she answer? No. Mario Ernesto. Did he answer? No. Present. Ah, oh, here you are. Roberto de Saúl. Good evening. Presentation. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. All right, run out now. Present. Okay, Victor. Vidal. Present teacher. Good evening. Wally. Wally, Wally. Not here. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, perfect. Let me show you from, yeah, from this. So, as you remember, we started starting this structure yesterday. I think it's kind of easy because you don't do much. You only compare okay, to people 
objects or ideas, and you want to show that they are at the same, yes? Or to do something in the same way. So you use the structure as plus the adjective or adverb and plus on again. So getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Okay, the company add, adds as much value to distribution as they can. Okay. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partner with. And the shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Okay. I remember we completed this exercise, but we're just going to rewrite one more time the last two sentences because of the time we were not able to do it yesterday. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. I think we need to... Yeah. Oh, the last two. So efficient and other some channel distribution strategies. So we start with that, right? Second. Some channel distribution. Sorry. Strategies uh -huh. are not as efficient as others. I was trying to make this letter smaller, which I don't know what has happened. Okay. That was correct. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Okay. And the last one. Profitable as selling our digital courses is not through a store distributing them online. Mm -hmm. We start with selling. Our digital, digital course. courses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> through the stores. Uh -huh, through the stores. Uh -huh. It's okay. not. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not as profitable. 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 Uh -huh. As distribution. Distributing them. Mm -hmm. I'm distributing them. Online. Online. That's right. So selling our digital purchase through stores is not as profitable as distributing them online. All right. Sorry, teacher. I, yeah. I was I was working on the platform. Mm -hmm. And in this exercise and the number two. Mm -hmm. I had a problem. I type a design we are working here, mm -hmm. but it's not accepted. Really? Yeah. What number of exercise is it? 1.3, 1.4? It's, 
1.7. So remind me to double check this exercises of the platform at the end of the class. Let me. That was the number three. That was not correct. That was not accepted. This one. And this manual is number two. Number two. Okay. Yeah. Will be delivered us as the payment received the achievement. Mm -hmm. And we did it yesterday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We're going to double check that. One second, please. All right. Well, so this was just to refresh the structure. And let me just go to the, to the platform. Let's say 1.7, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. One second. Six one point seven. Okay. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. That's what I see here as well. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Maybe you can try it again and see what happens. Maybe a letter or anything was missing. Try to start with the capital letter at the beginning. The shipment will be delivered. I tried uh, I try, uh, with point at the end mm -hmm. and without point at the end. Actually, here same. I see it doesn't have. Yeah. Maybe the spelling, one letter less or more sometimes. Because of, you know, the setting of the page. Okay. Okay, please let us know if the answer was accepted, all right? Could you try to do it in the platform, teacher? All right, I'll try. I'll try myself. One point seven here. My is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The lever has. Yes. Hmm. That is how it's supposed to be. I don't know why it, it, it says this wrong.
Okay, I'm gonna report it, okay? Maybe they can fix this. Because that's the way it is. Yeah, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the pay as soon as the payment is received. Teacher, the yes. same happened to me. Right. It's not accepting it as a as a correct one, right? But it's not only that that exercise is to with the number five, I remember. Also. Yes. Oh my gosh. See, but um, the answer they show is the same one, <laughs> the same one that we are typing. So there might be a setting issue. Oh my goodness. Oh, but the number five on this photo, it says it's correct. But the number two is not correct. Okay, so I'm gonna see it as well. One second, I just need to know who I have to report this to. I guess it's this one. Okay. I need to send this person a message. Okay. One point seven, right? Okay, so I already sent this report. Probably they will fix. Okay. Um, I put the number five, uh -huh. but I don't know what is the problem with me because. Yeah, selling our digital purse through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online. It is okay, true. Right. But in the platform is wrong to me. Really? Is it because of courses in, in, in Pluto? Selling our digital courses is not a through a store, it's not as profitable as distributing them online. Maybe. Because I saw the other image and apparently it was correct. 
Mm -hmm. This person got it correct. Try once again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, if you still have like some inconveniences with the platform, yes, we might discuss it. Okay, don't hesitate to inform what is happening. Okay. All right. Now, as a matter of practicing this structure, I'm going to share some exercises for you to practice. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna put this link right here on the chat so that we can work on the exercises. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to try to answer and then we compare our answers. Could you access? Let me know, please. Yeah, I got the access. All right, great. So these are even simpler exercises because they are just simple sentences, right? Mm -hmm.
All right. Is the exercise done? Finished? No, not yet, teacher. Not yet. In progress. All right, no problem. Okay, we're going to get some partners, hopefully. The ones available. If not, I'll put you in another room. No problems. So we can compare. Hello, good evening. Um, so we have we have to check the the answers or yes, what? Yes. Ah, okay. I work yeah. to get. Sorry, I am driving. No yeah. problem. Okay, no problem. Tell you. Okay, we can compare the, the when we finish. I finished, but I uh, but all of that are not are not well, so I have I have to check again. Okay, okay, uh, I almost finished. Hi, can anyone pass me the link, please?
when you finish, uh, we can compare the, the, the sentence. Okay, I finished, but I had three wrong. Okay. Me too. I, I, I finished, but I have three, but I have three wrong. But it's an advance, uh, like previous one. Roberto, excuse me, the number one, um, it's okay. It's okay for you. No, no, the, the number one uh, uh, is wrong. That's wrong with that. 
the number two, I, I it's good for me. A zebra is not very tall. Uh, the giraffe is very tall. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. A zebra is not as tall as a giraffe. But the one it is one. I don't know. And you uh, are uh, uh, correct, the uh, number one. Um, no, I had wrong, but I, I, I do my, my wrong, and in this case, I think it is correct, I don't know, other, other partners. Okay. I'm trying to do different way. Yes. Okay. Yeah, number two I got I got good too, but number one I got wrong. <laughs> I don't know why it's wrong. Maybe I maybe in a word or something like that. Me too. I, I'm trying to the first three ones and in I don't know why they're wrong. I only have from the from four to seven I I, I have I have correct. In we one are you having problem? I just enter. I, I have problem in the first in, in the in the first three. My sister is fifteen years old, and your brother is fifteen years old too. I I I'm I'm writing my sister is as fifteen years old as your brother. Oh, I have uh, my sister is as old as your brother. Oh, okay, and okay. You don't have to. You don't have to put the number. Uh huh. Is uh huh. Yes. Just all. Is as all as your brother. Okay. In the second. And in the second one. I put. As, uh huh. Because I'm writing a zebra is not that is not as very tall. Just tall. Ah uh, yes. I just I just spelled. Uh -huh. A zebra is not as tall as a giraffe. We have the very. Is okay. without, without berry or with? Without, without. Um, it's not as tall as a giraffe. The number three, uh, do you have correct the number three? I put Coca-Cola is as is not as good as water, only that. Ah, okay. And is is correct that? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, I put uh, Coca-Cola isn't as good as water for your health. I I I have uh, a mistake, maybe for for your health. Only uh, water. I uh, yeah, I I also put first. Uh, uh, Coca Cola is not as good as water for your health, but I don't know why it's not correct. Then I just put Coca Cola is not as good as water. Only that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh. Everyone has goals. The number three. I had the same wrong. I write complete, complete sentences. Okay, okay. Yes, may, maybe it's uh, mm -hmm. Me too. water. So you don't have, you don't, apparently, you don't have to put anything that is not a verb, that, that is not a, an adjective. For example, you, you don't have to put additional information, like with Coca-Cola, right? You don't have to put for your health. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. Mm -hmm. I put for your health and it is a mistake. Only, but the, 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 the partner only writing water, until water, mm -hmm. it is very good. Okay. 
the number four. I put uh, cat are as funny as dogs. Yes. yes. Right. Me too. Okay. And that is correct, right? The the number five. I put uh, Tini has famous has Nati Peguso. Correct. Tini is as famous as Nati Peluso, right? Yes, me too. Yes, okay. Number six. Fish are not as intelligent as dolphins. Yes, yes, me too. That's right. Mm -hmm. Number seven, English is as difficult as math. Yes. 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 Okay. Only the, the number one, I don't know uh, who has correct the number one. I, I correct that is a uh, is my sister is as old as your brother? Only that. Only that. You don't have to put the 15. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I have I have wrong that. Because uh, I, no, I, I, why uh, with the number is wrong? I I mean what is the problem to put the number? It's like uh, because th th this happens with the Coca Cola and um, and the second one that you don't have to put uh so you know you only have to to put uh, the adjective uh, uh, and uh, and no more additional information because this is uh, they are saying you that uh, they they are fifteen years old the the sister and the and the brother so but you only have to put old the adjective the and not the the amount of years okay thanks Okay, done. Correct? All of the exercises? Yes, you should. Yes. All right. Let's see. The first one, my sister is 15 years old and my brother is 15 years old too. What was the right answer? My sister. Hmm? My sister is as old as your brother. My sister is as old as your brother. But because why they're... putting the number is wrong? It's because the structure is no. as plus adjective plus as. So Always both... has to, we have to respect the structure. Uh -huh, because they are both the same or the same age. So you just mm -hmm. need to say that. And it's understood that they both are the same age. Okay. Mm -hmm. As old as. Actually, you could have said as young as. <laughs> uh -huh. And it would have been the same. All right. This, a, a zebra isn't very tall. A giraffe is very tall. 
So they are emphasizing that the zebra is not as tall as the giraffe, right? Right. And that was the right answer. In Coca-Cola, is isn't good. Water is good. So, what was the right answer? Comparing. Coca-Cola is not as good as water. Exactly. Coca-Cola is not as good as water. Uh -huh. Cats and dogs. Both are funny, right? Cats are as funny as dogs. Cats are as funny as dogs. That's a very <laughs> unique opinion <laughs> because some people think cats are not as funny as dogs. <laughs> I agree with you, teacher. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so this is a kind of controversial opinion, okay? Tini is famous and Nati Peluso is also famous. So they are both famous, right? Tini is as famous as Nati Peluso. Right. Fish are not as intelligent, right? Because dolphins are more intelligent. So. Even though dolphins are fish too. <laughs> Let me say fish are not as intelligent as dolphins, right? right? And English is difficult, but math is more difficult. No, I'm kidding. Math mm. is difficult too. <laughs> English is more difficult. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a matter of perspective. <laughs> no, I think it's a, yeah, it's a matter of it's learning your style as well. Or... Yeah, that's how you feel, right? M mm, multiple intelligences, okay? Because for some people, math is easier than English. For some other people, it's the other way around. But in this sentence, it says that both are difficult. So English... English is as difficult as math? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> disagree. <laughs> Yeah, in my case, yeah, math is very difficult. <laughs> yeah, and for some people, math is easier. Right. Okay. No doubts, no questions. Okay, so it's a matter of, you know, practicing a little bit. The structure that we studied yesterday. Let me just double check. Um, this one I think it's it's pretty simple. I'm gonna okay, okay. I'm gonna let you work here in the main session because, uh, so you have questions, doubts, we can discuss here. I'm gonna put it. It's a very similar exercise. I'm gonna put it on the chat again and confirm if you're ready to open it. Please. This is easier, a lot easier, I promise. Did you? Yes. All right. Nice.
All right, complete, right? Yes. The first one, how was it? The blue, the blue car? car is as fast as the red car. Exactly, the blue car is as fast as, fast as the red car. Peter? Is not as tall as Fred. Peter is not as tall as Fred. The violin? Is not as slow as the cello. Cello. <laughs> yeah. And the copy is? As bad as the other one. This copy is as bad as the other one. <laughs> Oliver? Is as opt optimist as Peter. Yep, Oliver is up as optimistic as Peter. And today is? Not as windy as yesterday. Not as windy as yesterday. Uh huh. The tomato, the tomato soup was as the delicious. Go as ahead. delicious <laughs> as the mushroom soup, right? Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes, the, to right. the tomato, the tomato soup was as delicious as the mushroom soup. Soup. That's soup, right. Yeah. Yes, the gra grapefruit juice is. Uh huh. Great juice is uh, not as sweet as lemonade. Yeah, grapefruit juice is not as sweet as lemonade. Well, lemonade is sweet because we put sugar in it. <laughs> and Nick? Nick is as brave as Kevin. Nick is as brave as Kevin. And silver? And silver is not as heavy as gold. Silver is not as heavy as gold. All right, I told you this was easier. Okay, I'm glad. Now, the structure, yes, comparing, right? Two things, two places, two ideas, uh, the same level that are equally the same. We use the structure as well as adjective results, right? Okay, as good as, as bad as, as so as, as nice as, as fast as, right? Great. Let me, oh wow, this is cool. Yeah, some people share a photo of the exercise. That's super, super awesome. Okay. Well, going back to the manual. Okay, we practice enough of this. So we're going to go to the next lesson, which is provide suggestion to retailers business, businesses actually. And then we have to start thinking to activate a step important for retailer stores to know the strength and weaknesses of the competition. Oh my God, here you are going to be debating about real business. So, what is your opinion about the following? The customer is always right. <laughs> oh my God. These are very controversial. Let's say, whoops, well, probably. I don't know, motos, how they uh, manage this. But provide suggestions to retailer businesses. I saw the story today of a very interesting business in El Salvador, of a retailer business actually, of Dollar City. <laughs> so if you could watch this story, how Dollar City started, it's being a boom. So it's an important for retailer stores to know the strength and weaknesses of the competition. Strength, that's fortaleza, weaknesses, las debilidades, right? So do you think it is important for this type of business to know this is strength and weaknesses of the other businesses that are their competition. And what's your opinion about the following? The customer is always right. So we're gonna discuss this a little bit, okay? Because I want you to take notes if you like, first of your ideas um, or make some bullets and then, um. We discuss, we share the ideas with our partners, okay? Try to organize your ideas so that you have something to say in the groups.
you think about the customer is always right? Sorry, sorry. If you are okay, or do you agree with the with the phrase? Phrase? I don't remember how to say phrase. The customer is always right. Um. um In my in my opinion, uh, not all the time. I think um, so. If, um, I don't have experience in in client service, but I, when you I don't know, but when you when you analyze when you see posts in social media or complaints or something, uh, so you um, you identify the both sides. Sometimes uh, mm -hmm. and and sometimes you um you identify that is a bad client service, but another times you identify that are clients that are problematic or that are are not um uh, how do you say empathicos uh, and uh, empathetic or uh, are not uh, considerados uh, are not I don't know the the word. Yeah, I know. In my opinion, maybe almost all the time, um, I'm okay with that phrase because, but sometimes the customer like took advantage of, of that and there's when the the customer is like too, too angry or, or I don't know, it's not like the, like the correct way to say something, so. Almost almost the customer is always right. I don't know. Okay. Yes, in my opinion, I know that the customer obviously is uh, is very important for a business, right? Because without uh, a customer, a business, can't uh, grow growth in the in the area, right? The customer are very important, and the opinion of the customer, I think that it is very important uh, to to grow the count the company or to help the company to fix something areas that every every business has. But uh, the phrase that customer always. Uh, has right i think that is 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 not right because uh, the customer most of the times think that uh, he has a priority right he has a priority priority for only only for that he is paying uh, to a business but i am i think that is not that, that the customer always has right right My point of view uh, about that is not always the customer are right because there are many customers that are very complicated, very, very complicated. Not this whole, whole case, but so there are customers uh, that they are um, como se dice amables, how do you say amables? Kindness. Kind. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But no, another case that uh, there are customer um, complicated really. I think that it's also depending in the kind of business that you are in the kind of business because if it's a small business, maybe if you annoy some customer, uh, you can. Uh, if you are a small business, uh, one customer, if one customer stop buying from you, it maybe it's bad news. But if you are a 
big business, maybe it, it doesn't really matter. Maybe uh, you only need like as like you need you if you are a big business, you only need to 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 assure that the employees are are at least kind to the to the customer, but not to support um, malustrato. I don't know how to say that. Uh, um, mistreatment. Mistreatment mm -hmm. customer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Everyone participated already? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, done. No doubts, no questions? Sure. For me, everything okay, Tish. All right, perfect. All right, let's go back to the main section so we can do the reading. Okay, I guess everybody's back now. Let's go on. Let's move on. All right. So we're discussing if it is important for a retailer store to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition. And, and your opinion as well about the yeah, the motto, the saying that the customer is always right. Let's see a couple of opinions here. Is it important for the retailer stores to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition? What do you think? Yes, no? When you yes. say competition, do you mean with, an, with the other stores? Exactly. Other businesses that do the same thing. I think it is important mm -hmm. because in the strength or weakness, you can see details that can help you to, to do, do not do the same mm -hmm. or do the same for mm -hmm. your benefit. All right. Very good. Someone else? It's also important because it helps to to def define a a good strategy for for the sales. For the sale, right? For improving, for making better. All right, great. And what about the customers? Always right. This is something very common, very popular, right? Yeah, everybody's going doing uh, entrepreneurship. Mm hmm. Because well, for example, it's not the same. Uh, have a little store in downtown mm -hmm. where there's a lot of competition that that established in the in a private private place. Mm -hmm. So this depends. It's not always the same. It's not always applied. Yeah, it depends because because it has to verify. The kind of the kind of customers that mm -hmm. are near from the establishment, from the market, <laughs> yeah, Your the market, target markets, right? Okay, 
Yeah, probably you may think uh, in business, people tend to say that the customer is always right. But when you are on the other side in customer service, <laughs> you know that it's not true, <laughs> even though it is important to have customers, right? When there are certain type of customers that just because they are the customer, they think they are right. Probably they are totally wrong. Okay. So we have an excerpt. This is, that is not complete. It's not a complete article. It's just an excerpt. It says, read the excerpt about tips that successful retailers implement. Then answer the comprehension questions below. I'm going to do a quick reading. I mean, when reading in English, we know that it's not just, okay, let's read it fast and get the idea. That's one way of doing the reading. And that's one purpose. That's one objective. But in this case, most of the reading is done for acquiring more vocabulary, for doing some reading comprehension exercises, for doing some intonation and pronunciation as well. So we're gonna try to cover as many objectives as possible. All right. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is key. A scheduling time, wait a second, I think I have something right here. Yeah, prioritizing is key. A scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused on and, and on schedule, eliminating extra time and spend where it shouldn't be. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in, in supporting their customers. Training a staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of a strong associate and as a result, a strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industries, trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. And the other one is shifting a store's inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customers' trends, work with vendor and respond to what customers want. What is how you are able to achieve by inventory for your store. So these are some of the habits, right, that have been observed among successful retailers. Of course, I know when we have this type of exercise, we always go to the questions and want to answer right away. If you want to answer the questions right now and then do the reading, it's fine. But if you want to do it the other way around and just first do the reading and then answer the question, no problem. That's up to you. But we're going to be working in small groups so that one person listens to the other and vice versa. All right. Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to, re to a retailer? Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? What is a good way to get to know the competition and how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their store? So those are the four questions related to this absurd, all right? So I bet everybody has the manual or you need the a screenshot of this reading.
Can you share screen? Let me see. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You you see the, the screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. Okay, so first one. Okay, I will read the first one. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on a schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it should be. Okay, the number two is letting go is a must. Successful retailer analyze, analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailer know through hard dat data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to wrap the rewards of a strong associate as a result, a strong sales. The next one? Um, knowing knowing uh, the competition. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, the, you. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to re recognize the new industry trends, misses opportunity, new strategies to compete for sales, and other way to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors and respond to what the customers want. That is how you're able to effectively buy inventory for your store. Now we can answer the, the questions. Yes, yes. Okay. The first one is why are scheduling time limits and deadline important for retailers? I think that, well, my opinion for several reasons, right? Because uh, they have been maintaining discipline, discipline and productivity within the, the, the organization, right? When tasks have set time, and limits, for example, it prevents necessary delays and ensure that work is complete uh, efficiently. Right, uh, uh, I agree. In my opinion, I think that uh, this is important to uh, scheduling time limits and deadlines because you, um, because in this way, you invest the resources in an intelligent way in um, the idea that uh, you don't have to to work extra time if you don't need it if, in this this could apply when you when you are starting something so uh, you have to be focused to not be all when you are employees uh, you also you you invest your time his or her ability to sell uh, different products. And also, he, well, even if they are not in like only, if, even if they are like 
doing invent, inventory, no, uh, inventory, I don't know how, how to say. Uh, inventory. Inventories. Inventories, uh, they can make it faster. Also, you also improve their productivity. And maybe also they can, the employees maybe um, like optimistic about a learning or having a, a, some training, I don't know. Okay, so well, the third one, what is a good way to get to know the competition? Uh, knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Well, you know, it's, it's, I think that competition should be a, a, like a healthy competition. I mean, it's not the, it's not like a, if you want to destroy your, destroy your competition. It's the, as the word says, compete to get, a, to getting a goal. I mean, getting more sales, more customers. And it's a, uh, it's important to know the competition in order to improve your sales strategies. I think that a, a way to, to know the competition is to make a market studies. Oh, I think that is like the only way to, to know, really know. Employees so so professionally, right? To attend to the customers. Mm -hmm. Yes. And provide uh, a good solutions, uh, provide a good uh, customer service, right? Because I don't know who say that if you try go to the employees, you will try uh, go to the customers, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, right. Yes, I agree with both of you. Number three is what is a good way to get to know the competition? Um, as it says in the article, in the in the in the habits, I think that it, mostly today that we you we you have uh, so much access to information. Is to know what is uh whether uh, you have to you have to be informed about the market about what the competences are doing. Uh, for for example, if you should uh, hire a consultant or, or or somebody that uh that uh, makes you an a, a market research, so you you have to be informed what the com what the competition is doing. So you 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 should. Uh, be aware of what the people likes, uh, what um, the behavior of the people, the to the what the client is looking for, uh, what kind of client service that that, that people is comfortable or, or all of that. I think that it, there are many many variables that you should consider. Yeah, to me is always will be depend of the kind of business that we we have because not every business has the same strategies or or the same sales so to me it depends the kind of business mm -hmm. uh, yes yes i i agree with with, with both of you uh, because i think that in all the business it's important to to involve in researching and studying what rival retailers are doing in terms of their productions, right? For example, what uh, the competition uh, offer to the customer, the, the pricing strategies, the marketing tactics, 
the customer service because if you know uh, if you know everything about the competition you can do it uh, better than, than, than the competition right i know that is, is very important that, that part okay and finally number four how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their source So if I can, um, yeah. how do you say it's in the last habit? I think that you should uh, accommodate, uh, listen to your customers, react to consumer trends, and work with uh, what with customers want, right? So you have to, you have to analyze. Uh, how okay? What are the trends? Um, what the what the customer is looking for? So, uh, because in this way, you should you should be updated to um, what are the needs of your. Mm, I think that for. Uh... Other, other strategy to be able to to buy inventories to is to see what is in a, in trend for example uh, this March 21 and now the September 21 they say that is the day of uh, yellow flowers and if you can anticipate uh, those days, you can buy um, the, the product before other ones, or even get like a discount, or I don't know, and sell it in those days or around those days. Yeah, that yeah. that's a good that's a good example. Also, uh, Mr. Donald, when they're Donald, there are many many retailers that buy many boxes boxes of donuts to to sell um on the street i think this is a good idea yeah that's true and also this is this could be this could help for the 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 question number three knowing the competition you know on there's not only mr donut that who sells donuts there is a pronto uh um donut place so i mean there are a lot of places that in september uh gave uh, discounts on their products in this case that donuts yeah but the model most of people buy and it donut only on September. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think uh, at the end of this course, maybe it's there. There will be as uh one or two students that will be doing an entrepreneurship with all this. Remember how to say? Oh, uh, see, I I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's more like a clickbait. It's not uh -huh. what you're looking for. It's it's come. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. I think we have to be careful in in what what we buy, especially when when we buy online. Yes, I think that uh, I it happens to me that uh, I um a few times I have I have shopped online, but I uh, I'm very bad to to estimate 
uh, the the sizes of the of the products uh, because uh, yeah, almost the um, what I what I buy um, what I bought is uh, is larger or is is bigger than what I expect. So uh, aha, I I think that I have a, a bad luck on that. All right, everybody return, right? Almost everybody. We're going to do one last reading. Let's see. I'm going to assign, I think. Okay. Give me one second only. So, okay. Prioritizing is key. This tip is going to be read by Emerson. Letting go is a must by Luis Javier. Okay, training stuff is vital. Martia de Saúl. Uh, knowing the competition is a priority. What dear? Knowing the com. Oh yes, sorry. And shifting to inventory is okay by Fernando. I think. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So the first person, Emerson. Okay. Prioritizing is key. Mm -hmm. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, eating us your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Where it shouldn't be. Right. Next person, Luis Javier, letting go is a must. Where letting go is most, letting go is a most. Successful retailers analyze the situation as opportunities to learn from versus big team teams themselves up over the more retailers don't throw hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Okay. Next one, Miguel, right? Training staff is vital. Me, teacher? Yes, sir. Okay. Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the reward of strong societies and as a result, strong sales. Okay, nice. Um, and the other one, knowing the competition is a priority, that was what they right? Excuse me? Yes. Did you read this? Tip? Yes, Maybe. no competition is a priority. Mm -hmm. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new and uh, new industry trends, misses opportunities, new strategies, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive competitive retail retail marketplace. Yeah, competitive, right? Competitive. The last one was Fernando, wasn't it? Shifting store inventory is okay.
Oh, are you ready for them? Okay. Or you need anybody else to help you? It's Ronald? my turn. Oh, yes, it's your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Shifting the store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors, and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Thanks very much. Wait a second. All right. Here we go. Is there any question regarding pronunciation or meaning that you would like to double check? Uh, me, teacher. Yes. The last one, successful merchants or mercants? Merch like from merchandise. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Any other? No more. All right. Why are a scheduling time limits and deadline important to retail? Well, I think it's important because it eliminates uh, extra extra work. I mean, if you are getting a good uh, getting a good schedule in all the processes, you are able to avoid uh, extra extra work in order to, in order to to complete the deadline. Right. That's right. Schedule time limit in deadline, even as your own boss can help you make retailers stay focused. Besides, right, when you work too long hours, you are not focused because you start losing concentration on important tasks and activities in the business. And probably you start getting tired because of the time that you are working extra so that's one thing that it's very important and they stay focused right why do sales become a strong when retailers invest in training employees mm -hmm. this is this is i think a key, cause, definitely. Because employees become strong associates. Right. If an employee is well trained, is let's say happy with the work, then the employee definitely will treat customers well, and customers will keep coming and acquiring and buying shopping from mm -hmm. the business, right? So definitely this investment, it's a good investment because if you train employees, then you're definitely assuring the incomes for the business. What is a good way to get to know the competition? I think this is that uh, a good way can be uh, involved, for, for example, researching and studying what rival retailers are doing. Yes. For example, uh, in terms of the, the products offering, what the, the competition price, what is the pricing strategies, uh, marketing, the, the marketing tactic, the customer service, because uh, I know that if you know what the competition uh, is, is doing, you can do it better. Right, right definitely, right? So, if you know what the others are doing, then and you don't do anything, and then it's your responsibility if sales don't go good, right? If they, sales don't improve. Because you know what the others are doing, then you have to do something about it. That's great. And the last one, how do retailers become 
able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? By listen to customers, react to customer trends, and work with vendors. Exactly. Definitely, you have to listen what the customers are looking for, what they need, what they want, and the trends, because that way, I mean, you're going to have what they look, what they need, what they want, right? And of course, uh, working with vendors responds to what the customers want. Okay, definitely the vendors have to be updated as well, right? Because they know what their customers are going to come and look for. All right. Great. Hmm. This is something we're going to do next class because of the time, okay? <laughs> but with this, we're almost done with the unit one. And definitely next week, we start with unit two. Issues, more issues besides the ones that you reported at the beginning with the platform. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you get the screenshots of the problem you have, put it in the group in WhatsApp so the technicians can double check, all right? Okay. Good, so I hope you have a wonderful time. Oh, I almost forgot the attendance for the second time. I'm sorry. Give me a second. All right. Abigail Elizabeth. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am. Okay. Home already? Ready. Okay. Elizabeth and Stephanie. Present. Emerson Alexander. Present. Fernando Jose. Here. Francisco Ernesto, yeah. Hazel Vanessa, Juan Antonio, Julissa Jamilet, Carla Ivania, Luis Javier, Present. Luis Miguel, Mike de Saúl, Present. Manuel Alexander, Present. Marilyn Alejandra, Mario Ernesto, Present. Roberto Saúl. Present. Ronald Alexander. Victor Noé. Present. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Valdir de Jesús. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. All right. Just to make sure that the person is staying on the one-on-one -on -one session today. Will be Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Mr. Acuña, are you available? Well, apparently no. Hazel? Okay, so that's the next one on the, on the list. Next. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a sense of humor, Mr. Atilio. I love that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently no one is available. It's okay. Today, probably my internet. Really? You will guess. I cell phone hotspot. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I believe it yeah, must be really difficult. Yeah. All right. So, no one can stay. All right. No problem. See you on Monday. Be safe and sound. Okay. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Chair. Bye. 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 Okay, enjoy.